Hey, hey, saving my coin budget friends. It's your girl Shalisha. And in today's video, we are going to lay out my January budget. So if you like budgeting videos, learning how to budget, cash stuffing, sinking funds, single mother finances on a low income, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe bell so you know how much time I post. If this is your first time seeing my video, hey, thank you so much for clicking on it. If you're a returning subscriber and oldie but goodie, hey, hey, thank you so much for coming on back. Y'all, I'm so excited to do my first monthly budget for the month. Y'all, where did time go? It just went like, huh? We just started 2022 and now we're in 2023. But I hope you guys had a wonderful, safe New Year's. I hope you guys have laid out your budget, got your, your monies, has a plan for it. But we are about to get into my plan, homegirl's plan, okay? So um, I'm going to clear this stuff out of the way just a little bit, and we're going to get into the Save My Coin Budgets Financial Planner. Okay, guys, so I have my planner. We are going to just get right on into it. Um, I did kind of lay out... Um, the month just a little bit i didn't put down like my dates and things i wanted to show you guys that on camera so if you guys are brand new to budgeting and you're like sis i'm just trying to get my money together and you know i need to know where to start this part is for you if you have been budgeting and you know um about the calendar method and you just want to fast forward you can um i will let you know when i actually start budgeting out the uh, monthly uh, budget on camera the timestamp but i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to lay this out so um here is the monthly view for january it is undated um so you are able to start budgeting at any time that you like um so i just went ahead and i laid out all of the days so what i'm going to do now is i am going to list all of my paydays for this month as well as i'm going to list out all of my financial obligations on their due date on this calendar so i am going to speed it up so you guys don't have to you know do it in real time but i am going to speed it up um and come back Okay, y'all, so we have went ahead and we have laid out all of our financial obligations. So this is anything that requires me to pay any money. Okay, so we listed out credit cards, we listed out um, utility bills, uh, our mortgage, our HOA, all of the financial obligations, and we did list our two paydays. Um, so these two paydays are from my 40 hour a week job. Um, I'm not sure if I reached the threshold this month to receive a YouTube paycheck. Um, so I didn't put anything here on the 21st um because we typically get paid on the 21st for the previous month um but if i don't get paid this month that's okay um i'll just receive the funds that i earned next month which is cool um so i am just going to list out a couple of goals that i have for the month of january and remember in my last video i did list out my yearly goals um, but for the month, um, I do have a couple of goals that I want to do. Some of them are related to finances. Some of them are not. Some of them are just, you know, like regular old life. Um, so I do want to meal plan. Um, I want to try and, you know, meal plan and cook more at home. As well as I do want to uh, make two sales a week on my website or Etsy shop. So whether that is cash envelopes, selling a budget planner, um, a printable, whatever it is, I just want to continue to make uh, two sales every month. So for, I'm sorry, two sales every week. So that'll be a total of two, four, six, a total of eight, uh, eight sales um, for the month. As well as I do have a, um, a binder launch a new binder launch on my website that's coming this month. I'm thinking I want to probably do it um, maybe like the 8th because I have to get my workbooks out um, this month or I'm sorry this week. Um, so probably a binder launch on the 8th and then uh, meal planning and then I have to remind myself Skylar goes back to school on the 9th so I have to get her school uniforms ready for that 
All right, and then um, of course, just using my cash envelopes. All right, so that is all I have for now. If I do have any other things that I wanna add, I have plenty of space that I can do so. I am thinking of maybe reaching out to a couple of people to see maybe if they could have stickers made. Um, for the planner, um, you guys know I love Brianna from Brianna Life and Budgets and her sticker kits are so pretty. Um, so I'm thinking of reaching out to her and seeing what we can get done if you have purchased a planner, um, seeing what she can have done for your home girl. So we have went ahead and we have laid out our monthly budget, and, or I'm sorry, our monthly calendar. Now we're gonna go into our monthly budget breakdown um to see okay how are our finances going to be laid out for the month um and i'm going to zoom y'all in right here okay so from our monthly calendar we go straight into our monthly budget and um so this is the breakdown sheet so i only have one income that i'm including um, which is my full-time income and for the month i am going to budget out that it is going to be $2,200. So this is my budgeted column here and this is my exact column. And then for the month, of course, we're just gonna put January. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and we are just gonna write out all of these bills that we put on our calendar. And then we're going to put down our budgeted amount. So of course I am going to fast forward here, and like I said, we're gonna put our budget amounts so we can see exactly will we have enough from our budget uh, to go ahead and do a savings plan. If not, we're going to have to see, are we gonna to have to include a side hustle? Are we gonna to have to maybe call some um, of our, what sort? I don't wanna call them creditors, but if we have to call people that, um, you know, any of our utility bills, um, to see, you know, is there anything that we can do about a bill or, you know, set it up into a payment arrangement if we aren't able to make ends meet, but we are going to see how these coins are gonna lay out. So give me one second. Of course, I'm gonna fast forward. I don't want y'all to sit here for about three minutes while I write all this out. Grab your popcorn, y'all. Okay, so we have went ahead and we have listed out all of our financial obligations that we have for the month with the budgeted amount. So we are gonna go ahead and we are going to calculate them to see um, if we are at the amount that we are bringing home, over budget or under budget. So for my mortgage, HOA. But guys, let me know, how are you today? How are the kids? How is the fam? Are you guys on winter break? Are the kids eating you at a house home? Let me know. Did you prepare for this winter break when it came to food? Or are you ready for them kids to go back to school? Because I know I'm ready for, well, you know what? She ain't too bad. My, my baby's not too bad. She just likes a lot of snacks. So I gotta make sure I got snacks in my house. Let me know, what do your kids go to? Do they like food or do they like to just snack while they're at home? Ah, yeah, I always, always do this. And I was so close to the end. Okay, so guys, uh, our total is $1,966.97. And as I am writing this, I realized that I did not include my tithes. Um, and my tithes is my 10% back to the Lord. And I'm just gonna write this total down over here so I don't have to retype it. So it's 1966.97. 
So my tithe is 10% of my income um, that I give back to the Lord. So if I am budgeting that it's going to be $2,200, that would be $220 that I am giving back to God. So we had 1966.97 plus my tithes, which is $220. Y'all, that leaves our budgeted amount to be $2,186.97. So subtract it from our budget of $2,200. That leaves us with $13.03, y'all, okay? So that means that we don't have a whole lot that's left, but we have something that's left, okay? Um, so again, these are all budgeted amounts, so we don't exactly know what is going to happen until we receive this income. Um, so for the total income, I'm actually going to wait and do this part down here. Um, but I am going to put down here for that $13 and three cents. It is going to be going towards my emergency fund. Okay. Hold on one second, guys. All right, y'all. I'm sorry. My daughter had let me know that my new shipment of binders came in. So I'm excited. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave this, uh, the total and expenses and difference. I'm going to leave that blank. So once we do our recap at the end of the month, when we do our budget check-ins, that's where we're going to put our total. Y'all, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Bringing that stuff in. Where we're going to do our income and then what our expenses total was and then what our difference was from the month. Um, so as you can see, there is no actuals that is here. That is because in, when we do our paycheck budgets, that is where we're going to put our actual amounts and then we can go ahead and come back and do our expenses just right here in this box. So that extra $13.03 that we have budgeted as of right now is going to go into our emergency fund. But as you guys can see, there is not a whole lot of money that is left to do my cash envelopes, which is my variable expenses, my spending, my daily expenses, you know, whatever you guys would like to call it. But my cash envelopes, that is my daily expenses for my gas, my food, my um, personal spending, uh, anything that is just going to keep my day to day life going outside of my bills. As you can see, that is not listed. There is not a cash envelope here that is listed. Um, so I am either going to have to pick up more hours at work or I'm going to have to see how my paychecks, um, are going to break down when it comes to my expenses, because like my mortgage, I break that up into two every time I get paid. I don't pay my entire mortgage to one paycheck. I break that up. Um, so that's going to give me a little bit of breathing room when I do my paycheck budget to be able to have my daily spending which are gonna be my cash envelope categories. Um, so as on paper for the month, it's real tight. But when it comes to my paycheck budget, it's going to be a little bit more breathing room because I break up my larger expense, which is my mortgage, because I am a single mom with only one income. Um, so that is how I kind of give myself a little bit of a buffer when it comes to my expenses because I can't afford to pick up another job or, you know, have a full-time and part-time job. It just doesn't work for me. Um, so on paper, it's kind of rough, but this is why I do my monthly budget, but then I also do my paycheck budget because in this paycheck budget, I could have maybe 300 extra dollars for the month. And that is what I'm going to put towards, you know, my sinking funds and my cash envelopes, um, when it comes to saving and spending. So this is why I'm, it's always best to do a monthly budget. So and I, I know I'm gonna have $13 somewhere, but I'm also, I know because I budget out my money and I spend it, I break up my larger amount, like my mortgage. And I did the same thing with my car when I had a car, but my car is paid off. Um, so that is what I do when it comes to my mortgage to give myself more breathing room. I break it up into two. And if you need to do so, because some of your bills might be a little bit higher, don't be afraid to break your, your um, things up into two. I'm not saying pay them in two, but I'm saying to uh, 
when you do your paycheck budget break it up in two to give yourself a little bit of breathing room because nobody wants to work just to feel like they can't do anything so i am going to come back when i receive uh right before i receive my paycheck and do a paycheck budget for my first paycheck of january which is going to be as we go back to our monthly calendar which is going to be on the 13th and that is where i'm going to make my plan for me paying um my debt which are my credit cards as well as all of my bills as well as savings so doing one of the savings challenges that is in the back of this workbook um so putting money towards one of these 12 savings challenges which i'm so excited to get into um as well as putting money into our cash envelopes and savings for our future selves so um, if you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comment section down below. Or um, if you have tried budgeting before and it didn't work for you and you need a little bit of help, go ahead and check out my website. I do offer um, a free consultation um, just to discuss your finances. Or if you would like for me to come up with a budget plan for you, there is an option for you as well to just check out. We can talk, we can chat, um, and I can come up with a plan for you to um, attack your budget and your finances to get you in, on the right track. But I will see you guys in my next video. Be blessed, guys. Bye.